Hi, guys. Sammy suggested that we make a poppet maze for our vanilli. And the first room is already ready. Uh, Susie, help me get out of here. Hop on. Hmm, don't you think it will look better with a door? Tell me if you need anything. Will do. For now, we need a piece of foam board. Let's cut out a frame. Sammy, it's your move. No way I'm doing this alone. I'd better go ask Roger for help. Guys, you can also ask an adult to help you. Oop, great. How's it going, Sammy? My piece is ready. Hey, what's taking you so long? I'm cutting everything by myself here. And since you came back, here, untangle this wire, please. Easy peasy. I'll be back in a sec. Ah, ah. Oh, maybe it'll take me a bit longer. In the meantime, our door is almost ready. We're just waiting for the opening mechanism. Here it is, Susan. Now, show us how it works. The wire goes through both door parts like this. And here is the final result. All we need to do is secure this in the doorway. And voila! <laughs> hey, uh, the furniture will get stuck in here. I need a crane. <laughs> I can be your crane, Sammy. Let's furnish our first room. Shiver me chatters, it totally slaps! <laughs> uh, looks like a prison cell a bit. Ah, there's something moving! Whoa! Holy cannoli, what's that, Sue? This is gonna be the next location for our hamster's birthday quest. Let's fill it up. The puppets are gonna move in circles here. How will Vanilli take on this challenge? Why don't you solder up the electric circuit to find that out? Whoa, be careful, Sammy or nothing will be left for us to work with. You should never work with a soldering iron without adult supervision. The battery is the last step and done. Here we go. The first puppet is in its place. But we're gonna have two more. Nothing's easy here. Let's see how it works. Oop. Hey Sue, did you forget something? Oh right, thanks. Festive, huh? Let's move to the second location. Ugh, check this out. Wow, there's a lot of space. And what do you want to put here, Sammy? Grr, a plastic tube monster that eats hamsters. Grr. Don't worry, guys. This monster can be easily tamed. And we can use these plastic tubes as the barriers. Our vanilli will have to work hard to pass through them. Can somebody take these tubes away? They're squeezing me, please. Easy, tiger. <laughs> now shake them. And voila, the labyrinth is ready. And in order to let Vanilli know where to go, we'll glue a few arrows. Right here. By the macaroons! I really like it, Sue. Whoa, whoa, whoa! A few plastic balls will finish the design. And secure them with glue. Guys, let's move on. We have so much to do, like the next room. The stakes are gonna be higher right from the beginning. We'll insert these circles inside every colorful opening. They are gonna be moving. Purple one goes here, and snap. Woohoo! Looks like a colorful cardboard barbecue. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be so much fun. Do how much longer? The next obstacles are ready. <laughs> Stop peeping, Sammy. Why not? I wanna be in here too. I'm just kidding. Want to see the next room, guys? Then stay tuned! Whoosh! And our hamster will roll on the bridge. <laughs> of course not. Vanilli's safety comes first. I'm sure she'll cross it just fine. It's also exciting that we've made two bridges all together! Check this out! They're so cool! Here's the last challenge at this location. Sliding doors. We've made them from cardboard and plastic straws. Ta-da! Yet another nice hamster challenge is done. Guys, what do you think? Does this look like a ring for soap bubbles? Hey! Come on! There's so many rings! Yeah, I'm confused, Sue. These are not for blowing soap bubbles, but to challenge our vanilli. Watch this. Uh, 
Oh, Vanilli's so lucky! I wish my birthdays were that much fun! And here comes the soldering iron again. And... All three rings are going to rotate. Let's assemble everything and let Sammy be our first test subject. Here comes the switcher. Let's see. It works! Just check this out, guys. Pretty challenging, huh? Make way! Shiver me cheddars! Uh, uh, that didn't work! Woohoo! It's actually pretty easy! That was awesome! Let's do it again, Sue! Well, Vanilli can't jump that high. We'll see how she'll manage to escape this room pretty soon, guys. In the meantime, we're back to the poppet theme again. This time, it'll have spikes. Uh-oh, this room's kind of tricky. Susie, let me out. Here you go. Hey, I'm locked in again. Guys, help me. Ah! Calm down, Sammy. And guys, don't worry. These are not sharp at all. We'll place them in the last room of this level, right? Here. Uh, ahem, don't forget a handle from the outside to roll the poppet platform. Wow, it's like a death trap in some old dungeon. What are we waiting for? Let's make it even more exciting. Wow, ooh, <laughs> check this out. I'm a trapeze artist, haha. -ha. I'm sure our little hamster won't be intimidated by this at all. We'll have two suspension bridges here. And an elevator, apparently, but where does it go? Whoa, whoa, not up, I wanna go down! We're landing right in the center of the maze. This is gonna be the last step here. Susie, why is it taking so long? I wanna spin inside the cabin. Well, Sue, are you ready? Let's test it. Okay, but you asked for it. Whoa, oh, my head is spinning. I'm out. Shiver me chatters, this is something new. Oh, oh. Whoa, wait a second, I wasn't ready. Uh, am I in some kind of circus? It's the next level of our maze with dancing cylinders. And what kind of dance do they know? Step? Cha cha cha? It's quite unique, actually. I'd call it left and right dance. Want to see it? Ugh. You're joking, right? I can't wait to see it! <laughs> okay, but we should finish the assembling of the mechanism first. This piece goes right here. I got it! This way the cylinders are gonna swing left and right! Well, we're done. What do you say, Sammy? That we should move on to the next location. Vanilli is gonna be here very soon. Guys, would you look at this? Sammy, I knew that you were working on something, but I didn't know it would be this amazing. I've been working so hard to make it perfect. A wavy bridge, a zigzag bridge, a bridge with flying rings, but we need an elevator. And we'll make it. These wooden railings will help navigate it. Let's glue them right here. Huh, then the elevator should have a rail too. Have you finished? Well, of course. Then let's fly. Welcome aboard. The final destination is Vanilli's birthday. <laughs> the last piece of the elevator shaft is a wooden stopper. The whole contraption should move straight up and down. Here we go. Just a bit more, Sue. Hold it. And done. Yay! Now let's mirror it to the other side so that Vanilli could reach the third floor. Hop. Looks like we're done. Guys, do you want to see a preview of the last location? Check this out. Give us a thumbs up if you like it! <laughs> Sammy, they can't see anything like that. Meh. Oh, Sue, I'm totally digging it. So much colorful stuff. Let's add the obstacles then, like this rolling cylinder. Ha! Now we have a new barbecue skewer. By the way, it will be electric as well. You're gonna need serious training to go through such a maze. Do you want to try to jump through this frame? Um, no, that's more like a hamster thing. <laughs> then let's make a grid so that Vanilli will have to squeeze her way through. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Now let's add one more such obstacle. Woo, this wheel is the best. I want to try it once more. Careful what you wish for, Sammy. Do you want to become a hamster? No way! I love my slimy body, and I want to see the other floor, too! 
And here it is. Here, our fluffy hamster will get her tasty treat. Only one last piece is missing, a rolling cylinder. It's made from cardboard circles and straws. We'll attach it to the walls with short wooden sticks. And a well-known mechanism will make it roll. Don't go anywhere, guys. You're about to see Vanilli's maze adventure. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Vanilli! This puppet maze is for you! Oh, she seems a bit overwhelmed. Okay, sweetie, you go here. Go, go, birthday girl! Vanilli, don't disappoint me! Hey, did she decide to take a bath? <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She doesn't seem to quite get the whole point of this quest. Give her time, Sammy. She's just being cautious. That's right, sweetie. Yay! Finally! Whoa! She's doing it like a professional! <laughs> and she's having so much fun. Uh-oh. She's stuck. Should we help her? No, no, Sammy. She's just fine. Well done, Vanilli. Ah, oh, the tubes room. This is going to be interesting. Now, Sue, this is going to be interesting. Hehe. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? She's so bendy. And I'm sure she did some special hamster workout to get ready for this maze. It looks like you're right, Sammy. Just check this out. Very nice. Oh, the cardboard barbecue room. And it looks like a no biggie for our brave little hamster. <laughs> the bridges! Hey, that was really fast. Vanilli Defo is a hamster with good coordination. And she has excellent sense of direction. Just look at how she passes through these doors. Like a professional door opener. <laughs> well. This location is really tough to go through. But a smart hamster like our Vanilli knows how to avoid all of the obstacles. <laughs> She's doing great! Go, Vanilli, go! Hey! Is she trying to cheat? She's just trying to figure out what's ahead of her. Free ride! <laughs> I guess she likes this carousel. Go on, Vanilli, move forward. Susan, get ready to rotate the puppets! Sir, yes, sir. Oh, she's so 
brave! And cute. Ah, the dancing cylinders. You know, I could show her a few dancing moves. After this maze, Sammy, she's going to teach you how to dance. Hey! <laughs> Let's see how she copes with all this. <laughs> it's a shame to disappoint you, Sammy, but these bridges you've made are hardly an obstacle for her. Not even the poppet one? I'm afraid not. Just look how smoothly she goes down and up again. Come on, girl. You're already familiar with the elevator. Here we go. Oh, she decided to freshen up a bit. Ah, this one's tricky. Just don't look down, Vanilli. That's right. You're almost there. Well done. Only two rooms are left. Whoa! <laughs> Come on, Vanilli. Squeeze through it. A bit more. Yay! I must say, I'm impressed, Sue. She's so bright. You don't say, Sammy. You don't say. One more breakthrough. No, no! Through the opening, sweetie! That's right! Things are rolling in here! <laughs> Just a bit more. You're almost there, Vanilli! Well done! She's a hard nut to crack, that hamster! I'm impressed! She is our lucky birthday girl! She's at the finish line! Just a few more steps! Oh, I hope she won't get scared inside this tube. Go up! Go up, girl! Vanilli gracefully passes through a rainbow forest. But what's ahead of her? A remarkably easy obstacle for this smart young lady. Oh, she decides to speed up! And bingo! <laughs> Hi guys! As you can see, today we're going to build a five-level maze for a hamster. Hooray, Susie! I'm very busy coming when it's done. <laughs> okay, Sammy. But this won't be a simple maze. It's going to be a Lego maze. Let's start with the upper level. It's the easiest one. First of all, we need to make the base of our first level. See? This way. Don't forget that in every layer, except for the last one, you should make a hole like this. So the hamster can pass from one level to another. Time to make the walls. I advise you to use long pieces for the first row. Let's connect the basement pieces with each other. This way, our construction won't break. Let's use different colors to make an interesting pattern. It's better to put the piece at the junction of the previous two so the system is more solid. Finishing the walls of our hamster. Okay, done. On the top, we put some fortress elements so Andy can feel like a knight. Let's add some bright lanterns on the corners. Now that's better. Let's move on to making the inner part. 
First of all, here's the finished window. And even if it's hard to squeeze through this gap, I'll close it with a piece like this. The next step is the walls. Mostly they'll be white, matching the window. Woo! The first level is ready! Yeah, it's quite simple, but it'll get harder. Four more levels are ahead. Phew! It wasn't as easy as I thought, but our five-level Lego maze is done! Check out this rainbow Lego maze. The first layer's purple. Then there's green, yellow, orange, and the largest one is red. The easiest level we made together, so you know everything about it. Let's dive into the second one. It's green. Andy enters the start zone and starts moving along the passage. Then he passes his cozy tunnel and overtakes two barriers, like a horse at a track. Then this little passage brings him to the third level. Visually, it's divided into the blue and purple sections. Andy lands here, and the first thing he sees is this door. Welcome! <laughs> here we've got a whole snake of so-called greenhouses. Hope our friend won't fall asleep there. Here, Andy can rest on soft straw. He deserves this after three levels passed. And then, he finds the brightest level. I call it the lab. <laughs> and it's the fourth level. Carefully get around the barrels, take a little passage with some flowers. Ah, <sighs> Reaching my favorite part, the giant swing! <laughs> After that, you get the kingdom of windows. A window, a barrier, a window, a barrier. <laughs> and finished! Flying through the arch to the last level. Oh, I love this one. We've got some straw for a break here, too. Da -da 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 -da. Here is the fifth brightest level of the maze. Andy will start with a warm up snake passage and reach the giant labyrinth. Then there's the obstacle course. And the rainbow slinky tunnel leading to the elegant exit door. Oh, it's so cool! I can't wait to put Andy in it. But we'll see it tomorrow because I'm a bit tired. Time to go to bed. See you guys. Hmm, what is this fortress? Interesting. I must explore it. All right, quietly, not to wake anyone up. Hmm, looks like a lab went. Well, I like logic puzzles. Ugh, these are itchy. And I like a Lego, too. Can I fit in here? Of course I can! What a silly question. All right, seems it's another level. Let's see what we got. Hop! This tunnel's so perfect! Wait for me! Does Lego aim at hamsters now, too? Cool! Okay, I think I'm on the right way. Oh, here's the door to the next level! That was rather easy. Ah, da da! It could've made this door bigger. This level seems harder. Phew! I'm gonna take a break. Alright, time to search for the exit. Oh, it's so dark in here. No, wrong way. Oh, here. Hmm, my hamster gut tells me the exit is somewhere close. Oh, there it is. Let's go to the next level. Wow, it's so bright in here. I call it a lab. Ooh, flowers. <laughs> Smells not bad, but I prefer ficuses. Hmm. Whoa, there are even attractions here. Cool. Phew, this level's a little messy. Take some time to understand the route. I had spinning because of all these turns. Good job, Lego. You know I'm done. Nice try, Lego. But I'm smarter. I'm at the last level. That's a simple passage. Let's move on. Hop. Well, no one's looking. So many things around. I I need to think. 
Okay, let's just keep moving. Oh, I have to get to that white path. I'm very close. Run! Oh, I wasn't planning this night fitness. Oh, that tunnel's funny. <laughs> but I have to go, go, go. Nice labyrinth, Lego. In fact, I got some ideas about Lego mazes to share. I gotta go catch a train! Sue, where's Andy? I found this note in his cage. Oh, Sammy, I'm afraid Andy woke up at night and passed the labyrinth without us. Let's see what he wrote. Hmm. Uh-huh. Da, 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 da. Oh, wow. Huh. It says Andy went to the Lego office to test new labyrinths. What? But who is going to go through our maze? Hmm. I know. Let's see the security camera footage. That's right. Great idea, Sue. Bye, guys. See you soon.